So minutes before we came on the air at 5 o'clock, NFL team owners voted to approve the sale of the Washington Commanders to a group led by Josh Harris. Now here are three big takeaways right off the top. First, the $6.05 billion sale just got approved in the last hour. Second, Dan Snyder is being fined $60 million on his way out over the investigation into the team's toxic work culture. But ultimately, this means the Snyder era will soon be over here in D.C. We have our crews covering every angle of this story tonight. Our Charlotte McBride is live at the NFL owners meeting in Annapolis, in Minneapolis, I should say. And our Eric Flack is live at the bullpen near Nats Park. Big party happening right there tonight. But I want to start with Charlotte uh, and more on this monumental vote. And we know that all of the owners signed off on this sale, right, Charlotte? Yeah, Lorenzo, this vote was unanimous, 32 of 32, all voting to approve the sale of the Washington Commanders to the group led by Josh Harris. And of course, Josh Harris all smiles when he walked into the room shortly after that vote was taken with Commissioner Roger Goodell speaking to us briefly about how much this means to him. Of course, you guys know he grew up in Chevy Chase, Maryland. This is his home. He grew up rooting for the team that he now owns. Here's what he had to say about now being the new owner of the Washington Commanders. I feel an awesome sense of responsibility to the city of Washington. I know what I got to do. Uh, and ultimately that comes down to winning. I know that you have a home in Philadelphia, New Jersey, <clears throat> obviously owning different teams and different sports. How involved do you see yourself being with the commanders? Do you see yourself being in Washington a lot of the time? Yeah, so look, first of all, my mom is in Washington. Uh, my friends, where I grew up, um, she's still there. Um, so I'm going to be in Washington a lot. Uh, I'm gonna, I need to be present. Uh, I'm going to be part of the community again. I'm really looking forward to coming home, cousins, friends. Uh, and, and so, uh, yeah, I have a lot going on. But, uh, you know, this is uh, incredibly important right now for this city. And I'm going to be remembered for what I do in Washington. And so that's not lost on me. And so uh, I'm all in. And, you know, Washington fans love to hear it when they hear him say, I'm all in. So a Maryland boy now coming home to own the team he grew up rooting for. So here is Governor Westmore's statement about that. He says in quote, Maryland is excited to welcome this new leadership group and looks forward to working together on a vision for the next generation of Commanders football. For 25 years, the Commanders have called Prince George's County home and Governor Moore is committed to ensuring this long-standing partnership continues for the next generation. And I also just saw a tweet by Magic Johnson. He's also part of that Josh Harris group. So he is now part owner of the Commanders and he says it is a dream come true for him to own an NFL team. So really all smiles here today. Every owner we had a chance to speak with on their way out said, it was good for the league. It's good for football. And they are all very pleased to welcome Josh Harris into this very elite club of NFL owners.